The Large Hadron Collider is a journey of discovery, a global undertaking to explore the mysteries of nature at both the smallest scale of the quantum world and at the largest scale of the cosmos. In order to imagine the challenge, consider what might be the world's most powerful search engine. It is a project sited on the border between Switzerland and France at CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics. It is a ring of superconducting magnets 17 miles long, buried deep underground. It accelerates two intense beams of protons at nearly the speed of light. The two beams are brought into violent collision with energy densities that have not existed since instances after the Big Bang. The beams collide in the centre of large experiments consisting of complex arrays of particle detectors. Deep in the heart of the detectors, protons from each beam interact. New particles are produced. They are recorded by precision detectors, generating an enormous volume of data, more than a billion petabytes over the lifetime of an experiment. Scientists search this data for the answers to their queries. What are the queries of the scientists? What are the questions that we ask? Some are age-old questions. How has the universe evolved from creation, the instance of the Big Bang, until today? What drives the motion of the stars and other heavenly bodies? What are the basic building blocks of our universe? Today we know that matter is composed of molecules and molecules are composed of atoms. Atoms are composed of protons, neutrons and electrons. But there are many more types of particles that can be built from a small set of more fundamental particles, the quarks. But are the quarks the final story? Other questions are more recent and relate to fascinating aspects of the quantum world. Dark matter. What type of particle makes up the dark matter? Antimatter. Why is there more matter than antimatter? What broke the symmetry? Supersymmetry. Are there new natural symmetries, such as a heavy supersymmetric partner for each particle? Extra dimensions. Does our universe really consist of more than the three spatial dimensions of our everyday experience? Everyday world is the midpoint of 60 powers of 10 stretching from the size of the universe at the Big Bang to its size today. Telescopes probe large scales. The LHC is a super microscope that probes the early universe. Here lies the subatomic world. The world's most powerful particle accelerator, the LHC, has been built in an underground ring. The ring is lined solidly with superconducting magnets to guide the beam. Inside the magnets are two beam pipes, and within the vacuum of these pipes, the beams travel. Energy is pumped into the ring to accelerate the beams to within the last millionth of the speed of light. Energy turns into matter, producing jets of particles, some ordinary, some familiar, possibly some never seen before. These particles are measured by four experiments. Alice specialized for studying the quark gluon plasma. Atlas is the largest, a general purpose experiment with a wide range of goals. CMS, another general purpose experiment, is smaller than Atlas, but much more massive and dense. Finally, LHCB, which seeks to better understand the mysteries of antimatter. A complex of smaller accelerators prepare the particle beams for the LHC. The LHC performs the final stage of acceleration, accelerating the protons to an energy of 7 trillion electron volts. At this energy, 
the protons make more than 10,000 turns of the 17 mile circumference every second. While each proton circulates the LHC, it travels 10 billion miles, more than the distance to the planet Neptune and back. Superconducting magnets are the critical components that enable the LHC to achieve the high energies that we need for our research. The dipole magnets, which bend the beams around the ring, are each about 30 feet in length. The magnets are installed end to end around the ring and aligned with great precision. The superconducting coils are insulated in cryostats. Each magnet contains two coils, one for each beam. The beam cannot be allowed to escape. It has enough energy to melt 50 tons of copper, more than enough to permanently disable the accelerator. Instrumentation is needed to control the beams with the needed precision. Every one of the 1,800 superconducting magnets must operate correctly for the LHC to circulate beams. The magnets are cooled by liquid helium to a temperature of less than two degrees above absolute zero, colder than the vacuum of outer space. Inside the beam pipe, there is less atmosphere than on the moon. The liquid helium plant is probably the largest installation in the world. 17,000 particle accelerators are in operation around the world today for use in industry, medicine and research in other fields. The construction of Atlas was a tremendous engineering undertaking, beginning with excavation of a cavern to accommodate its monumental size. Atlas is half a football field in length and it stands 80 feet tall and 80 feet wide. It has as much steel as the Eiffel Tower and it is as big as a cathedral. The four year long assembly of the pieces of Atlas in its cavern was like assembling a ship in a bottle but on a much grander scale. Starting from the undercarriage designed to precisely precision the 7,000 ton weight an array of racetrack-shaped superconducting coils was assembled to form a magnetic field enshrouding the entire detector. This field bends particles called muons in order to measure their momentum. Chambers inside the field detect the muons with a precision much less than the thickness of a hair, a thin hair. Other Atlas detectors were inserted within the toroid. Atlas was assembled from pieces constructed in laboratories around the world. Tracker modules made in the US, the superconducting solenoid magnet from Japan, a module of the tile calorimeter, modules came from Spain, Russia and the US, a cryogenic La calorimeter arriving from Canada, another came from Europe, the big wheel assembled from chambers built in China, Israel, Japan, Russia and the US. The final assembly to join Atlas, a small wheel assembled from chambers also made in Japan, Israel and the US. Atlas is the fruit of the labor of 6,000 individuals over 20 years of design and construction. Atlas is a contrast of the large and the small Although enormous, Atlas measures with incredible precision, precision that drives challenging technology solutions. The innermost detectors are silicone digital cameras. These cameras have about 100 million pixels each, take 40 million pictures a second. Particle detectors such as these find applications in medical imagery. The challenge of our search for new discoveries, the challenge of finding a handful of interesting particle interactions in our sample of billions of trillions requires vast computational resources and some innovative new techniques. Large processor farms process data in nearly real time in order to sift through tens of thousands of particle interactions 
per second to pick the 100 or 200 interactions that we can afford to store. Even with this reduction, our detectors are so fine-grained that each experiment may store about 15 petabytes of data per year. This data volume is equivalent to a stack of about 15 million CDs, or a stack of about 12 miles high. In order to amass the required computational resources needed to reconstruct and analyse our data, CERN and its experiments have assembled the worldwide LHC computing grid. This is an association of 60 or so computer centres around the world. Data is recorded at CERN and it is then distributed to clouds of geographically clustered centres for further processing and analysis. The technical challenges of the LHC require an extreme level of collaboration. The LHC Accelerator was built and financed by CERN. CERN was established by 12 European governments in 1954 and it is now distinctly the premier particle physics laboratory in the world. The LHC experiments were built and financed by large international collaborations of scientists from institutes around the globe, with CERN as a member institute. As an example, ATLAS is a collaboration of 175 institutes from 37 countries. It is a truly global collaboration. There are about 3,000 collaborating scientists, including over 1,000 PhD students. Students play a special role in particle physics. They are essential contributors. They receive excellent technical and scientific training that serves them well in their ultimate careers, most of which are outside particle physics. Atlas was designed collaboratively, built collaboratively, and is now maintained and operated collaboratively. Collaborative tools enable us to communicate over large distances effectively. This need for global communication gave birth to the World Wide Web at CERN 20 years ago. How far are we on our journey of discovery? In November 2009, the LHC achieved its first collisions. In December, it reached a world record collision energy. In March 2010, it reached collision energies of 7 trillion electron volts, three times more energy. In 2012, the energy will double again. Each of these milestones is a momentous occasion for the experimental teams. The experiments have since collected enough data to start the exploration of new territory. Nonetheless, we are still just starting our journey of discovery. It is likely to take years to search enough interactions to find something that revolutionizes our understanding. The search to answer questions never before answered requires techniques that have never before been used. Basic research catalyzes innovation. During the coming years, we will advance the frontiers of knowledge beyond our current understanding, exploring the theories and questions that we have posed, and finally reaching beyond even our theories into the unknown a regime in which we might discover something truly unexpected. Mm -hmm.